Astronaut Boy here. It's time for part 15 of the Outer World series. I have no idea where we're at. We're just gonna. It's been about three weeks since I've been able to play the game at any level, which is kind of nuts. But that's just how busy it's been work wise. It's just been really, really busy. <clears throat> <laughs> well now, well now. That's a pretty picture. I want to... Uh... A screenshot of that. All right, HUD off. Do twelve. All right, we got one. I don't know why they couldn't have. Uh, I, I I say this every Priority game. One message from Starfleet coming in on secure channel. As going extreme. Hello. Thank you for the, wow, 12 months of subscription. That is amazing, my friend. Thank you so much. Um, I really do appreciate it. In fact, all right. Yeah, appreciate that so much, Extreme. Thank you. All right, um, let's see. It has been three weeks since I've played. My goodness, I can't remember anything. Well, I remember I for inventory, so. Okay, it was probably J for journal. Um, all right, this is the map I have. Um, I mean, the quest I have lit up. Starcross troopers visit Hayes' grave with uh, Nyoka. All right. So. I think if I hit M here yeah all right so mm. i can't tell where i'm even at on the bloody map I, I mean, seriously, I have no idea. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to move out some. And try to figure it out. I don't know. I can take a hint. Well, that's only because I heard this smack head. Yeah, he said it. I was gonna say I could I could kept hearing something. So new monsters spawned. I'm pretty sure I cleared this area. Alright. Aze's grave is this way. I may have fast traveled to a spot in the last episode. Okay, now I see where I'm at. Okay. That makes now that makes more sense to me. I'll get the missing episode up. I'll try to get it up as soon as it's the stream is over. Wow. They're in my sight. I 
can't see. There we go. Alright, do a quick save there. Alright. Wow, there are there are lots of noises out here. So I probably have not explored out here at all. This is what I'm going to bet. Don't know what that is, but we may be going to it. Okay, that's just a road sign. Shoot first, ask questions later. Alright, we'll keep following the road. What is that up there? Oh, um, yeah, so I have been over there. Actually, we need to get off the road, but... Let's just see what this body has in store. Not much. Anything else? Well, Boy, take you. Now <laughs> I forgot my rifle is very OP, so. All right, we're going to go down to this little encampment and then I'm going to jet over. Oh, there's a body up there. All right. Note to self, head back up there. Right. Yeah, all these treasure chests have already, or these storage bins, whatever you want to call them, have already be, been opened by moi. So. Oh boy. Where are you at? There you are. That's right. None of these things are... Oh. Bloody heck. Um, note to self, remember? There's nothing there. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I think that body was up over this way, so... Maybe we'll trot up over here. Or maybe it was over there. Bloody heck. It's amazing how my memory works, as in it doesn't. I mean, I say something, get distracted, and then immediately it's like, oh, what was I talking about? 
Actually, I don't even get that far usually. Usually it's like, okay, note to self, do X. I love this mountain. You can see so much from here. Uh, so many beasts would need killing. So many drinks would... Not to cut you off, but... Um... All right, we're just going to do a repair all. Need drinking. I've got to do more cardio. Ah, uh, frack. We're getting distracted. I don't remember where the body was. All right, I was down. Oh, oh there, there. I'm gonna say it had to be somewhere over here. Well, that's not the body, but it was close. And had nothing. If these were the bodies, well, there's another one. There we go. All right. Um. Since we found the bodies, it's um. Head in the direction that we need to go. Hmm. All right. Um, let's see. Okay. Not sort of in. It felt like I might have been encumbered there, but uh, I guess it was just because of where I was walking. So. May try to do a little bit of Minecraft later. This is for the Twitch viewers, by the way. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well now, well now. There's that. Eighty-nine meters. Uh, looks like they ran down over there. No big deal, though. Wraps. Let's clear this sulfur sodden fucks out so he can rest in peace. <laughs> Salty. I know the feeling though. Just saw something trigger on my screen. That's probably why. Okay, I get it now. I get it. This ground is like really different from the rest of. Uh, it almost looks like a. Uh, Kind of muddy kind of ground. Alright, so here's the grave. Buried near the surface of Hay's grave is a small lock box. Its hinges rusted through and the wood almost completely rotted. It nearly falls apart in your hand. But in it, you managed to find a tarnished silver medal. Medallion, sorry, bearing the letters uh, Charon. C H A R O N. Give Nyoka 
the medallion. Alright, uh, don't see any threats there, so Nioka, that's Ellie. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. Think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. Hold on. Tell me about the UDL contract. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. You didn't try to find them? I should have. I, I really should have. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I, I stopped trying because it hurt like hell to do so. Well, for what it's worth, I'm glad you're trying to confront it. Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but we've started down this path. <laughs> Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Now, come on. Let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. Alright, so... We are here, and we need to go back over this way. Um, hmm. Well, there's a couple quests over here. So I do have to come back over here. But I think for the moment, I'm going to fast travel. Let's see, to the summit or to the peak? Let's see at. I guess it matters. Well, at least this time, we don't have the enemies to uh, fight. Although there are still enemy bodies here. Um, yeah, it should be this way. Well, I say that. And I was right. So much for peace and quiet. Would it kill the universe to cut me some slack? And I don't see an Insta coffee in your hand. Nyoka needs a favor. Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us friends. I'd normally entertain your self aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. She's your friend. She's in need. You're the only one who can help. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Yeah. Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to shit, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. You're an info broker? What's that? Is that a trick question? Because to answer it, you'd need to pay me. Of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. 
Ask me anything you'd like. I'll even offer it for free. <clears throat> we'll call it an exchange for your help with the broadcasts. Ask me what you will. Let's talk about the board. There are so many members. Do specify. Got any compromising information on the chairman? If you try to cite me on this, I will deny, deny, deny. Do you understand? What I am about to reveal is the sort of information that gets a body disappeared. <laughs> Oops. MSI's ownership of Monarch is technically legal, but it would give MSI too much power on the board to grant them such status. So the chairman demonizes Monarch rather than welcoming him back into the fold. Exactly. But you didn't hear so much as a whisper of such from me. All right. Well, let's talk about something else. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. Yes, you are. I'm curious about MSI and the Iron Iconoclast. They are a curious lot. Insufferable. <laughs> and short-sighted, too. What else do you wish to know? Um, What's the story between MSI and the Iconoclast? I already know this, but I'll see what he has to say. You mean between MSI, the Iconoclast, and myself? I bet neither of those megalomaniacs told you I was the true mastermind behind Monarch. Back when the colony was still Terra-1 and corporations were abandoning us left and right, I'm the one who approached Sanjar and Graham with the means to our salvation. I offered them a legal way to take control of the planet. If MSI were the only corporation here, they could claim sole ownership. So MSI would stay behind while the other corporations left. Precisely. The other corporations were fleeing because of the hazard clause declaring Terra-1 uninhabitable. But MSI had lagged behind, giving Sanjar and Graham an opportunity. Take over MSI, stay here while the other corps left, take over the planet. And there was nothing in it for you, huh? Even then I applied my trade as an information broker, albeit in a smaller capacity. Of course I demanded an exchange for the data. Thus the bargain was struck. They could run MSI while I would operate Devil's Peak Station. Unfortunately, relations have soured over time. Why did the partnership fall apart? Competing ideologies. Graham believes Sanjar has become corrupted by the corporate lifestyle, that he is now similar to the original corporate executives they sought to reform. And Sanjar has learned the hard way that Graham is quite morally gray. I'm curious about Graham's deep, dark secrets. Some say Graham suffers from nightmares that leave him sweat drenched and screaming. I would assume it stems from the friends and family he lost in Amber Heights all those years ago. Post traumatic stress syndrome, then, huh? What about Sanjar? Got any dirt on him? Sanjar's not actually at fault for his past performance reviews, but he can keep hunting for loopholes to get back on the board for the next century. He'll never be reinstated. Interesting. Not in his lifetime. For Nebula's sake, even with the loophole I gave him, he's only in charge of MSI because every other exec died during the massacre at Amber Heights. What do you mean? I gave Sanjar and Graham legal information that would allow MSI to own Terra One once the other corporations had abandoned the planet. The execs had their concerns, but before the matter could be resolved, pirates raided their homes in the night. Hmm. Interesting. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. I don't want to believe that Sunjar is bad, but um, man, that doesn't sound good. What can you tell me about Phineas? Not much, admittedly. You must know something about him. I do know this much. There is a sharper side to the good scientist than you'd expect. <coughs> if allegations are to be believed, the experiments he conducts for the greater good are in fact treasonous and for self-gain. I am not convinced as to the validity of these allegations considering the source, but I am also not unconvinced either. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. Have you received any broadcasts from Earth? What? No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. Now, if you wanted me to intercept a certain one, that might be worth it for the right price. 
Um, I think that's enough gossip for now. How low you seemingly regard my trade. Let's see. About that ship. Yes, the one that crashed. I saw it on the security feed. A bit grainy, but an invigorating watch all the same. What about it? Where do you think that ship came from? The board has a blockade of gunships that patrol Monarch. Not a ton, mind you, just enough to deter the masses. I am curious as to what downed it. A faulty part wouldn't be wholly unusual. The supply for new mechanicals is tight. Ugh, now I'll never sleep. Unsolved puzzles really torque my sprockets. If you find out what happened, sell me the info. It was pretty wild, wasn't it? A sharing experience of seeing it crash like that. Is this bonding? <laughs> I'm... I'm not sure I like it. Uh, Next, you'll be asking me how I got the scar on my chin when I was 11. Yeah, I won't ask that. Oh, wait, maybe I will. I can barely see your scar. Most of it's underneath along my jaw, but yes, it seems to have faded with time. Moral of the story is, never run with scissors. Good call. So, who do you think I should give the module to? I fear it's a sad day when you've resorted to asking me for advice. Sanjar's about as deadly as a spilled can of lead paint. If anyone's to aim a cannon at my face, I'd prefer it be him. But he'd never have the guts to defend Monarch if it came down to it. Graham's as likely to bomb Monarch as he is to protect it, down to the last dying man, woman, and sister pig. As I'm not the one with access to the artillery cannon, I reckon the decision's ultimately up to you. Well, I'm going with Sanjar, but... Or well, at least I'm pretty sure I am. I don't even remember what the whole deal was. I've been out of the game for so long. Is that your polite way of telling me to get lost? I'm not sure anyone's accused me of being polite before. Besides, I know better by now than to think you'd go. I'm getting a headache behind my left temple. What could be causing it? The glare from the terminal screen? Or something else? Well, go take an aspirin. In the meantime, I'd like to secure some information. Business is good on account of you. How low you see me. Give my regards to Phineas. All right. So, okay. So we have to head back to Edgewater in the Emerald Vale. Wow. We want to finish up this quest. That's what we got to do. <coughs> so in that case, Let's bring up other quests. We can go back in active quest. Space crime continuum. And weapons from the void. I don't remember where this ship one was. Okay, it's a hidden lab. Um, weapons from the void. Oh, okay. For that quest line. All right, so I got to, I still got to return to Zora.
Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this because this is really, I mean, we're right here. But I gotta figure out where that, um, I don't remember ex I don't remember um finding that sh oh this is it Okay this is all right Candid's cradle which is I th think somewhere near where we're going so But in the meantime and in between time Can I get yes I can, that's what I thought. I vaguely remembered how to get around this place. Hard to believe. And we are here. I kind of forgot for a moment how to do this. Ah! Oh, broke my leg. Keep up the good work there, folks. I thought I heard um, something. This is a lot further away than I thought. Oh, okay. C3 barracks. Okay. There we go. We'll speed this up. We shall speed this up and died. And which one is Meg Heads? Bert Hold. Oh, there he is. Hey, Manic Queen Slayer. Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Lucky enough to Meet do it. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. All right, clearing you out. Why are you guys guarding this station? We were hired to do so. Why else? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the Broker, and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But, I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns, including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. Kind of odd for a group of mercs to label themselves as a corporate entity. The corporate model is the oldest and most efficient, not to mention stable structure history has ever shown us. Plus, corporations got certain rights, not entailed to individuals. I lead the C3s. Addy covers our payroll and expenditures. Lance handles the human capital. And Donald is our charming public face. <laughs> our system works. We've racked up more confirmed kills than any other crew you can hire. Can't imagine the competition. The best is the best, lady. That's all there is to it. 
Seems like I've done your job for you. The station's clear. Wow, that was a bit presumptuous, don't you think? We were still debating as to whether we're contractually obligated to take out those marauders. And here, you've undercut us. We have an image to uphold. Our services are deservedly expensive. Now, I shall have to pay you so that future clients continue to recognize the value of our work. Is that three bits? We'll just say you were a subcontractor, yes. That'll do. We exercised our finest judgment in hiring you, you know? Fine, I'm obliged. Oh, okay. So now none of this stuff... It was stealing before, but now it wasn't. Now it's not, so... Let's see, I'm pretty sure... Like I said, I've, I've already looted this place. It's not like I need this stuff. Well, I say I, I've looted this place. I don't know. It's almost looking like... Okay, I guess I took everything. I, if I remember correctly, all the other bins are empty. This one had stuff in it, but I think it was because it had like a, um, I think the lock pick value was like insanely high. If I remember, it was like 30 and I have 60. Kind of sucks. I didn't mean to pick up everything at once because that way, I mean, I can't even pay attention to what I got. Another pristine weapon. Well, there's that. There's a part of me that wants to... Uh... There's a part of me that wants to clean up some of these quests. I know we're out and about right now. But, the, the, I mean, like, some of these like this... And where is that located at? We can just jump around. Jump around! And all the other fun stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, he should be inside. Hey, you get to see another... Another transition screen. <laughs> yes transition screens are the best as it loads all right 25 meters oh is it that dude right there I guess so what the heck yeah nothing worth stealing you look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts no I'm not but I did find Mr. Pickett's journal. He'll probably be wanting it back. You see any sign of him? He's dead, eaten by a manta queen. That's pretty sad. He sure seemed like he knew what he was doing. Anyone fool enough to chase after a queen is pretty fucking far from the know what they're doing <laughs> class of people. So this journal is all he left behind? Seems like I ought to read it. Looks mighty long though. Maybe you and Celia can read it together on your date. Oh, yeah, that's right. This guy's the one that um, Sunjar's aide was googly eyes for. I bet she'll like that. She's real enthusiastic about all sorts of monsters. In any case, I appreciate you tracking down Mr. Pickett for me. Here's some bits for your trouble. Thank you. Now let's talk about something else. Hmm? 
Like what? Well, I guess all this is trade. But we don't want to buy anything. Instead, we want to sell. I'll save that, I guess. It's not like I'm hurting that much for uh, space, but it's like, man, let's still get rid of garbage. We'll just clear out some stuff. Well, wow, wait, that's worth a lot. What was that? Mm. <coughs> All right, so I like, see, I like clearing out some of this stuff. I, I, some of this stuff had been piling up. Um. All right, let's do this and regional. We'll go to Amber Heights. Where we get more loading screens, loading screens for the win. I don't care what you say for the win. Mm, let's see. All right, so Zora is gonna be in that. I think there's a yeah, there it is. Uh, yep. Not worth stealing. I would, but my character has grown some. Some things are just not worth Welcome it. Welcome back. You find anything out there? I found a box of data cartridges. Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain. He gave them the gate codes. Oh, wow. He, uh, I don't want to say that. Mm. He caused the attack. Yeah. He did. He really did. Yikes. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. Wow. All right, wow. All right, so that's not here. Not here. That's going back to Edgewater. That is here, I do know that. Um, that's also on Monarch. Uh, not here. Not here. I think, I think we had a, a, a quest marker that said that was here. Um, let's go. Let's go find that ship. Oh, wow, it's way out there. Gowser. 
What else is over here? Actually, just do this. We'll, we'll go back over here in a bit. Cascadia, I know for a fact, is just a nightmare. We have not... I mean, I, I went partially down this track before... Um, when I landed at Cascadia. I went partially down this track. <laughs> and it was like a nightmare. Of course, I've, I've leveled up a bit since, and so it shouldn't be as hard this time. But, uh, well, you never know, you know. You know what I mean? So. You said it, Buster. I did. I did indeed. Let's go to the turnpike then. We're going to um, pick up that one. And it's another load screen. <laughs> Ah, uh, I've missed streaming, gang. What the? Alright, you're in the way. Ooh, he's got a flame for it. Goodbye. So I don't lose it, I'm gonna go ahead and loot, let them take care of whatever's over there. Sure. Oh, he's hiding. Bye bye. We're alive. Ouch. So bandits Rotters, whatever they are. Took back over this place because yeah, I've already been in here all the all the boxes are open. Don't remember this cot here necessarily, but uh Great day in the morning. I mean I knew I had a ways to go, but wow. Manta Queen, wow, this is so nightmare. Actually. Let's do Still, stop! Go, go, go! Holy cow, I'm gonna die! Where's my sprint? I am still on fire. My crew is revived. Woohoo! Wow. Let's do an F5. Wow. Need to run away from that. Ah! <laughs> uh, Alright, let's put one of those up there. One of those up there. <coughs> For the next time, I have to heal. Wow. And what was I saying about being a bit better to be able to take on a Manta Queen? Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. And that's a bad thing. Uh, bad time to lose. Uh... Go. So lore-wise, I don't understand the whole... Um... 
You got these swarms of insects. So what? The Manta Queen like Damn, lays the eggs or something and becomes swarms of insects? And then they become those giant caterpillars and whatever else? Kind of weird. All right, so she's feeding on a dead body. Take him down. Dead on. Oh, heck. Where, 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 where? There. All right, so we should have blinded her. Taking a ton of beating and she's coming for me. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Oh, I got the worms. Man, I'm still on fire. Yikes. What the heck? Wow, wow, wow. Actually, you know what? Let's do a hard save. I haven't done one of those in a while. Anyway. <laughs> Woo! All right. Well, if I wasn't awake before, I'm awake now. All right, where was the Manta Queen? This is a problem I always lose. I always lose sight of where the bodies are, especially when I'm got such a long range scope. I don't know where she's at. Those were the bodies she was feeding on. Usually a Manta Queen usually has, because they hog gut bodies, they usually have like lots of loot on them. All right. That's the only bad thing about this weapon. I love it because it, it does pack quite a wallop, but um, in terms of, you know, these ash piles, I don't think. Oh, that's uh, one of those little things. Oh man, seriously. I have no idea. I have no idea. Well, at this point in time. I have in the past looked and woo, what was that? Well, that was a mantis swarm. See, the, you don't even see anything on the ground, and um, you just. So I think that happens a lot. I think sometimes the bodies just become. Um, there's definitely something. I hear wickedness. In the meantime, I would like to thank these marauders for their contribution. There is bad, bad juju around here. Okay. guys at where you guys at Woo. Boy, that thing's jumping around on me, 
Wow, you got blinded. I'm surprised you can even see. All right, there comes Ellie. All right. Whoa, 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 where are you? The patrol. You guys will be easy. Here they come. Cover. Go, 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 go. Bop. Drug addiction. <laughs> <You t> <laughs> um, taking as many drugs as you have has turned into an addiction, making you suffer withdrawal. If you go too long without another hit, nah, I don't want to do that. I've taken one, uh, flaw. I don't remember which one it was. Wow. Sometimes the medium scope is better for the situation. Oh, yeah, on a map. Okay. Let's do a quick save. Uh, and let's go from here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. Secret lab is that away. So we may as well continue along the path. That looks like, that looks like, um, well, hopefully. Yeah, it was a mag pick, but hey, we could use those. Mag pick, bypass shunt. Where are the rest of the marauders? There's one right there. Bye. Here we go. Woo. We land out. There If I can move forward, bloody heck. That does it. Time for a drink? Well, or something. My goodness. Oh, well, just some light ammo there. All right, there's an ash pile. Like I was saying, that's the only bad thing about this weapon is the... Turn into ashes and then ashes sometimes just disappear. They may still be there, but sometimes you just can't find um, what you're looking for. White noise is in the house. Hello. 
Nice to see you playing the Outer Worlds. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice to be able to stream again. My goodness, I've been so busy of late. Um, it's not even been funny. Okay, so yeah, this is when I was coming down this road. I didn't get very far because of that Manta Queen. Okay, so I have gotten stronger. I um. I wasn't able to kill her the first time, so. Whoa. That looks like a downed spacecraft. We may swing over there and check it out in a minute. Alright. Now, these doors were sealed. Ah, uh, wow. One hundred and forty two lock picking skill. I do not have that even if I brought the um, Whoever it is Wait a second Now I was sealed on this side I didn't even get across there I haven't even gotten in here. Wow, oh wow, oh wow. They're gonna make me find another route. Ooh, and there's another freaking Manta Queen, isn't it? Ooh, there's a Mega Manta Queen. Holy crap. Wow, we have used up a lot of, um... up a lot of um where are they at where are they at where are they at all right i see at the top i see at the top Sure that they could um they might could though. Sounds like the, the 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 insect swarms, which always reminds me of Diablo 2, to be honest. There they are. Or at least there's one. All right. Better do a quick save there. Um. All right. 
I think the valley is cleared. Woo boy, you gotta be careful though. You don't wanna break a leg. Ah! Ow! Broke a leg anyway. I broke a leg anyway. Well, Smeg, I can't remember. Where that mega queen was. There are some bodies here, though. Maybe this is an ash. But no, this is uh, just a body. Uh, a body. I need more energy. Parts. Yikes, in a way. I always say, okay, I'm gonna pay attention to where, um. Eh, Alright, that's a mantis swarm. I've always gotta pay attention to where these things are when I kill them. Alright, I was about up here. There's an ash pile. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! I bet loot. Count Masferatu is in the house. Hello. Just gone done with session zero of Only War. It's fun. I'm looking forward to it. I am unfamiliar with that. All right. Well, at least we found this. All right. Let's go back. It's Warhammer 40k. Ah, gotcha. But you played Guardsman. I never played any Warhammer. There's a there's a British streamer named Sorcerer Dave. Um, whom I thought was someone I watched, uh, found out years ago, playing Might and Magic Six, but that was not him. So, I don't know how I found out about him. But, one of the things he does, in addition to, like, like, he, he's been streaming, um, I don't watch, I don't get to watch the streams, but I will sometimes get to watch or have playing in the background more likely. Um, him playing Elder Scrolls uh, 2, Daggerfall, but ported to the, um, um, which engine would it get ported to? But it looks, I mean, it's still the same game as the old one from the 90s. Dogs should not, or alien space dogs should not. But anyway, he was doing Warhammer, is what I was going to say. He was doing he was doing Warhammer figurines or something. I didn't really watch it because it wasn't my thing. Goodbye. Well, heavy ammo is fine, light ammo is fine, but my goodness. I need need armor. No, I'm dead. Count says you are the mobile infantry from Starship Troopers, the movie, not the books. Gotcha. All right, let's. Oh, I see why it made me have drugs because of this. Gotcha. Okay, so my Is that an opening? It is. It is. Actually, you 
you know what? Let's shift. What is this? I don't need to overkill weapon for humans, so. thing is it i need i need i need a bigger freaking weapon i uh i need a freaking big and bigger um storage capacity on this thing my goodness six holding a clip with six shells is just rubbish all right so we can go there but i kind of want to swing around here I like the Starship Trooper uh, movie. I never read the book. The Japanese did uh, an anime, a six episode OVA, which was supposed to be closer to the books. That was pretty interesting. Um, all right, let's just see if there's any loot back here. Doesn't appear like it. Let's get out of here. But yeah, um, I like the the Starship Troopers movie. It was um, it was a fun popcorn movie. Of course, I went with my mom. My mom usually, my parents don't usually go to uh, uh, movies. I don't remember what. Well, the shotgun's not that much better. Sniper for the whim. I just hate that low capacity. I wish this thing had a muzzle on it. Or a silencer kind of a thing. Alright. Okay, I think I got those bodies. Yeah. This place is just packed full of marauders. I wonder what that. No, it's another enemy.
Well, I didn't do so well. But anyway, yeah, I don't remember why my mom agreed to, I don't know, why we decided to go catch a movie. It was back when I lived in the same town as my parents, but uh, we did, and um, <laughs> and then of course they had the co-ed shower sheen, which I was like, ah, yeah, that's nice. I'm here with my mom watching naked chicks on screen. Supervisor override, password required, enter the password. Override accepted. Welcome, doctor. Opening secure doors, begin transaction. You greet the customer, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Oh, is this a... This is a class? Is that it? Oh, that's the elevator. Well, let's... The elevator may go somewhere else. It's the first time I've seen the elevator in one of these places. No, oh, that was the original, isn't it? You know, these marauders are pretty terrible to leave all this loot around. Of course, the regular residents aren't much better. By the way, I finished uh, Stargate SG-1. All 10 seasons. So I got it done before it disappeared from Amazon, but... I decided to go ahead and just pick it up, the Blu-ray. And then Atlantis and Universe and then the two movies, so. Yeah, we're gonna need to check that out. All right, let's head back down and check out that elevator. But. Yeah, considering, um, you know, I didn't think much of it when it first aired because I only watched the first season. If this place was abandoned, how come it still smells like sweetener and despair? That's a good question. We need more energy ammo. It doesn't look like there's, I bet there's no one in here. You know, there's a door back here, but it cannot be open. But anyway, yeah, Stargate HG1, after the first season, it got pretty decent. Okay. Steam coming up out of the ground usually means bad things. Alright, let's sell. Actually, we usually just sell this.
I'm gonna keep that. Immunized, harmful effect status. That too, wow. All right, not that though. All right, some of this stuff we've been finding over here is actually kind of new and kind of interesting. Sniper critical damage, wow. Let me take that. All right, well. Guess I won't be selling as much as I thought. Oh wait, we need to sell junk. Alright, yeah, that got rid of a lot of stuff. It's Rezos. Well, there are bots back here. I don't know if they're enemy bots or not, but... Um, Probably safe to say they will be. Proximity alert. Biology human. Protocol kill all plants. Suspended. Present your Rizzo identification credentials or prepare to be downsized. Disengage security protocols. I'm not a threat. Attempting to disengage security protocols without proper authorization is a fireable offense. Of course Priming it is. weapons. I'm an authorized Rezo employee, password, whatever that word is. Executive level password accepted as identification according to employee ID protocol A-3501. Welcome back, doctor. Be advised, Mantasaur threat level is petrifying purple berry. Please use caution, Mantasaur wounds are not covered under Rizzo's health policy <laughs> at a productive day. And we're stalking, and we're stalking. Alright. Well, the bots. Okay, he was flying around. Or one was. When I looked at that glass, there was a definitely a flying drone in here and I didn't notice any kind of... Oh, there he is. Okay, never mind. Looks like he's seen better days, though. But anyway, what we're talking about is Stargate SG-1. Yeah, I, um, back when it first aired, I... After the first season, I was like, yeah, this is kind of, uh, I really like the, uh, the Stargate movie. It was a really fun popcorn flick, but, um, I like the actors and stuff that were on SG-1, Richard Dean Anderson, you know, I had, uh, it wasn't my favorite show, but. When we finally got a TV, it was a show that my parents like watching MacGyver. And so... I did like him from that, so... Signal Ada... To land on Cascadia Pab? Hmm. Could do that. Don't think it will, though. So talking about research here. Yeah, I could have Ada land here, but you know, whoa. Wow, I need my hacking skills up for sure. Actually, let's see, 65, I need 10 more. All right, let's go with, let's first, let's just do a repair real quick. And let's go to armor. Wow, this is what I'm wearing. Wow, 
this is rubbish. Rubbish. <laughs> hey, there's my skivvies. I would never wear that in a million years. Oh, I didn't realize I was wearing such rubbish. All right, tech scales. <coughs> All right, what I'm looking for. Um, there we go. That's a lock pick plus five. Oh, where was it? There we go. Oops. Oh man, was that a helmet does? Oh man, I wasn't paying attention. Man, oh man, oh man, I'm still five short. Oh, you gotta be joking me. I thought for sure that I had a, um, an armor piece with a hack plus five. Not a hack, but, um, lock pick plus five. All right, let's look over here to see what's tech skills. Yeah, tech is that, I need stealth. That might work. It did, apparently. Five lock picks. Real slick. Oh, this is this the entrance. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Well, that gave me a bunch of extra um, XP, so I'm not gonna complain, I guess. All right, so we'll take these things out. Whoops, don't. <sighs> They're gonna make it difficult for me. All right. Hey, that's an armor 27. I'm going to, um,
Armor parts plus three. All right. That's definitely no go. Back to the skivvies, don't you know? All right, armor. And... And there's some rubbish stuff in here. That's 27, that's 27. That's still the same. I did not realize that my armor was so crap. It gives me a better armor, but I don't want... Man, I just don't want that. Tech skills. At least there's something better about that. 27, 27. Got helmets galore. I am going to need to scrap some of these or sell some of these. And I don't want one handed melee. What to do, what to do? Man, all these low. I mean, seriously, six. <laughs> ah. I want, I want a piece of armor that will do me something sort of decent, but at the same time, man. One-handed melee just is wrong. Do not do melee, but I'll take the armor. For now. Right. So I saw the save come up, so. Alright. Back in here. Can we go out this way? Nope. We can go this way. Yay, some energy cells. I hear noises that are... Yeah, I was going to say, I can... It's just behind that door. Let me shift. Do a quick save. Okay, not what I expected. No. There's nesties in here. He's coming to the window. It's like, hey, check you out. Come on. Tasty meal here. Come on. Uh -huh. everywhere thanks for the warning where am I at well you know it'd be nice if you actually showed me where I'm at. I have no idea where I'm at. And why. Why it's not showing 
my location their location not available apparently oh boy it's pretty wild how they got the um the sound effects just right for the ringing in the air Third gang. Still not sure this is cleared. I still hear stuff. Gotta be careful. Alright. Let's go ahead and do a repair all while we're here. A little bit cheaper, of course. Let's do some breakdown. Oh yeah, that was actually kind of worth a lot, wasn't it? That's what I was wearing. Don't think that's going to help. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think that's going to help. Definitely want to keep a hack. Right, that's a hack seven. We'll definitely want that. I think we got enough stuff. Combat drone is no more. We need to go upstairs. Yay, energy cells. Yay, more energy cells. Enough though. Got 
Gotta get all the loot, you know. Got to get all the loot. All right, let's let's go up. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. This is like vats where they're doing the drinks. Some pretty good loot there. Landing pad empty, fuel pumps disconnected. Animal trials. Da -da 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 That's talking about sisty pigs. This talks about them going to Cascadia. Down, Miss Tessmacher. It still annoys me that um I'm not showing up on the map. Oh boy, there's a lot of these things. Switch this weapon because uh, I was using up so much of the energy weapon ammo and um, Nyoka uses a big old uh, energy weapon. But every time I fire one of my OP shots, it's like it takes five of that ammo. This is a weird, um, I guess this is like some place where they were doing some kind of weirdo experiments. <laughs> That's like surgical light kind of stuff. Well, no, well, actually, they were using them for the tables. Kind of a weird, just weird setup here. I like how that walking through that is like walking through muck. Of course, there's all these broken tiles and all that other fun stuff. A simple shrine in gratitude and then name some doctors. Huh. What the?
Okay. Gurthy's, uh, or Gurthry's, uh, testimonial. You were an excellent, um, chimerist and a credit to our team. Upon our return to Byzantania, Byzantium, I will file to have the copyrights for our work made in your name. The companies will own them, but your name will be on every legal filing. People will see it and perhaps think of you. I hope this adequately communicates the depth of my esteem. I will forever appreciate your efforts to improve communication between myself and the rest of the team. I do not believe I will drink vodka again, however. Gotta admit, I ain't got a lot of sympathy for someone willing to experiment on themselves, or any person really. See, I'm wondering, are they supposed to be dead? Very weird. Chartrand's testimony. Tom, as a manager, I'm supposed to review your achievements in history. Holding up examples of important milestones that emphasize your ability to work with and sacrifice for the company. Even when we die, it's all, how much did you make for us? Everyone here knows what we're up against and how long we have. You knew better than anyone. The way you talked about the lives we were we forget in passing, the dock worker who kept a red handkerchief in one of her pockets, and you wondered why. The server at the bar trying to read a book on the slide until our order was up. And you wondered what it was. The worker who swept the road, but when she found a dead sprat, she stopped to bury it. I didn't notice half the lives around me until you'd point out little things that made each one unlike any other you'd met. I have long I have to live long enough that I can uh, shout your name at Byzantium and tell everyone what you did for them because I could write for 40 days and nights and not tell a tenth of the little things I saw in you. This is why you don't go getting attached. Paul's testimony. I'd like to think you'd be happy about the data I recovered. These days I'm mostly thinking about how you should still be with us and we would have had more support from the board and no one uh, should have ever needed to take such crazy, stupid, brave risk. I don't know if your folks will ever see, get to see you. I made sure you were all tidy, small stitches. Eva put on, you in your best suit, did it herself. She said she owed you. See you in the equation, Tom. We miss you. Any comments, girls? McNulty's testimony. You didn't have to go uh, this far to get up paying that bad bet you had on the darlings. I mean, you gave me six months, six years pay to back, uh, to pay you back. You gave me six years to pay you back for last year's champions, championship. Sorry, my eyes are, I'm tired. So I apologize. I'm not reading it very well. If um, I told you you were right, I had your back. We could have drawn straws or something, but you went off and did it, and you didn't even tell me. This shouldn't have happened, man. F you, you earn better. F this, you earn better. So I guess... It's just weird that they had this thing to preserve this dude in. Yeah. That's the Tom guy. Just weird. Also interesting. They got the little blow up canister right there. Let me do a hard save. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Okay. The glass don't break.
well you know you had to look had to you know just had to see what uh there was to see and maybe just maybe Alrighty. There's a hole in that wall. And there's nastiness this way. Let's go through the hole in the wall. Because the quest marker is that way. <laughs> well, I can't get there. Never mind, so much for that theory. I mean, they're making it, it, I mean, it's like it's a tunnel supposed to be. I suppose they could be saying lore wise, that's uh, how this facility became infested with the uh, raptors or whatever the heck they are. Ah, uh, frack, I mean to clean. I had to switch to the OP weapon. Yeah, just... This one does not do enough damage. There was a Manta Queen up here. Oh, is that it back there, maybe? You know, I need to try to remember to, to, in fights, blow up some of these things. It still annoys me that it's not showing me where I'm at. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can, um... Well, no, I've already reloaded the game. Let me, let me try recycling the game. All right, so I recycled the game. I actually shut it down, let it do a backup, but it is not showing me where I'm at. That's kind of annoying. I don't know why it's not. It should show me exactly where I'm at in here. This map is kind of worthless if you don't know where you're at. So this has got to be some kind of a bug because I don't ever remember this happening. It's not even showing me the uh, vending machine. I th I'm pretty sure I've run into some vending machines. It's not even showing anything. It's not showing anything on here. Unless it's because, oh, it's a secret map. We're not going to show you anything because that would be, that would be uh, stupid. Yeah. Right. Yep.
So apparently it's a bug and uh, the smeg heads can't be bothered to fix it. That is so annoying because I have no idea where I'm at. I mean, seriously. Alright. Not seeing any enemies. Now where? Right, we have not been down there. Um... Connect storage tanks to landing pad refueling system. Air landing pad on occupied refueling system locked down. Oh, so I gotta bring my, uh... I did need to bring my ship over. I didn't want to do it, but I guess I needed to. And of course I don't have, um... Doing a quick save. Woo! Get up! Get up! <laughs> oh my goodness. That is nuts. White Noise says, I've been watching you on mute. I was doing a montage of my sixth episode of Minecraft in French. Yeah, I'll see about doing a Minecraft video myself. I haven't, I haven't had any time to play. I'm not sure I could get over there. It doesn't look like there's anything worth going over there for anyway. I mean, there might be. I mean, getting on that platform. Oh, wait, there's a ladder. All right. I'm going to have to run. There we go. Good grief, this became a platformer. Oh my goodness. Woo, falling. <laughs> know why the weapon came active oh it's because I was on there maybe there we go I was still attached to the stairs Hello, hello. Acquire a science weapon from the abandoned lab. Wow. All right, so we got science weapon. There was a scientist, so. He came up here. Oh my goodness. Now we gotta get back down. I don't want to do this. Good gravy. F5. On my way. Headed back. No. There's another platform there. Don't think we can get to that because it's up it's not like the other ones
Frag. Are you joking me? Wow, you gotta just... You have to do these things just right, my goodness. One more quick save. All right. Another quick save. My goodness. that do not open. These were the tease doors. Hmm. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I have got to go and signal. No, no, no. Oh, okay, wait. This is actually fine. If I'm in Cascadia, I should be able to signal from the pad to uh, have Ada come over with the ship. In theory, at least. Whoa. Okay. No idea where I'm at. Oh, this is that place. And I remember we came over here. I couldn't get in. In theory, we've already explored this. I'm surprised that one body Unless... I gotta go, I gotta go back to the, the office, but... Um... Yeah, I've already been in here. Alright, I don't know. I may have just decided not to grab... Some stuff, maybe. Or Yeah, I've already been in here. All right, let's go back over to back to the constable's office. Now why I didn't grab those other two things before? Well that one body unless they were somehow new. Alright, so this is the constable's office. Best wine on Monarch here. You take us to the nicest place, Captain. Let's 
So a resident locked himself up in a cell. Probably when the place was overrun. All right, so we are over here. There's the landing pad. It should be the initial town. Yeah, I remember fighting manticores or uh, manta queens or whatever they were there. All right, there's the landing pad. Uh oh, it's worked. See, I've already looted all this, but that's what makes me surprised that some of these bodies um, have loot in them. Unless they're fresh bodies of, of uh, people that got killed. Hey, right, I need to run to the... Uh, I need to actually check to see what's going on with work. Yep, I remember all this. All right, let's bring... Let's bring the unreliable down, assuming that the terminal works here. Please be a terminal. There's always a terminal there. Alright. All right. So the ship is here now. So now we can go back into the constable's office. I think it was over here. Uh, this doesn't look neat. I do remember having all these fights and going down that road a piece and then going, you know what? This is way too dangerous. No. Alright, I think it's over here. Yeah, constant. Alright, you know what? There's suspicious. There's a suspicious. Um, Couldn't get up, and I just almost fell completely out, and I just did. There may be something up on that roof. We'll worry about it later. All right. Um. All right. Let's go back up. While we're doing that, let me go see what uh, work wants. Holy cow! I was not recording this whole time. All right, so locomotion. So basically, because I'm an idiot, I did not, I don't know where this stopped recording. It doesn't really matter, but um, we did this. We did this. Um, it's not telling us all the old stuff that we did. Wait, that's the wrong one. No, it's not. Okay, here we go, here we go. So, um, there was a terminal earlier, uh, in this facility. By the way, the map of this facility is bugged. 
it doesn't actually show you where uh, in the secret lab it doesn't show you where the heck you are but I exited out to Cascadia through the um, um, constable deal that we could not access several episodes ago way back when I first came to uh, um, this planet Monarch and um now I have access to it. I went to the uh, deal and had uh, the landing pad and had Ada bring the ship in because I discovered as I went further into this secret lab that Ada needed to be on the pad. And there had been a terminal that said I could signal Ada to fly in and land. But at the time, I'm like, well, I don't want to go to Cascadia. It's still very dangerous. <laughs> As it turns out, I was there anyway, so who cares? But even though I did it from the terminal, they did not advance the quest, so I had to go back, find the original terminal, which had a new instruction for Ada. Instead of landing his ship, it was something new. I don't even remember what it was. So we did this. And then we did another terminal with the link up, and then we did another terminal with the uh, gas. It's basically stuff that we had done before. I don't. I'm pretty sure that all should have been recorded, but um, but as you see, the map is bugged. And 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 why wouldn't they fix it? I mean, seriously. I mean, it's just so stupid. But there's nothing else we can do in here. Because if we look at the uh, quest log again, we got to go to back to the uh, groundbreaker, finish this quest. So, ah, kind of sucks that I didn't record all that. I mean, it was—I mean, it wasn't much. I'd already cleared out all the monsters. So it was basically just me having to backtrack and then go terminal to terminal to terminal to keep advancing you know getting this fuel onto my ship so all right let me get another screen capture here All right, so I got a couple of screen captures. There's a part of me pondering if I should end the video now. It's only two hours and 15 minutes. It is a good stopping point, but we could do this one too. All right. Oh, I can't fast travel from this location. Oh, you've got to be joking. I won't out. Oh, there's the exit. <laughs> well. Well, this will get me to Cascadia. And I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. We're probably gonna have a lot of fights on our hand, but yeah, this is the constable deal though. This door was sealed before in an earlier episode and couldn't figure out how to get in. Well, you get in because you go through a secret lab and such, so. And then I have not traveled this whole way, so I will need to explore this whole area. So. Let me do a hard save here. But, um.
Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a like and a subscribe. Thanks, everyone. We've had an explosion of subs recently, and I really do appreciate it. Really do. Thank you so much. Also, there's my anime and manga blog at animeastronerboy.com. And we will hopefully see you in the next video. Have a good one.